God is still in the healing business. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 20, as we make our way to the cross. Verse number 29. Somebody needed to hear that testimony on today. He's able. He's well able. He's well able. Matthew chapter 20, verse number 29. Therein we find these words. As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside. When they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. But they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. Two blind men sitting by the roadside, they heard that Jesus was passing by. Would you look towards heaven and say, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of our God. That's what I want to talk about on this morning. Don't pass me by. <clears throat> Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho. They were leaving Jericho headed for Jerusalem. He's headed for Jerusalem to fulfill his calling. That is the place where he'll die on the cross. While leaving Jericho, he runs into some blind men. The text lets us know they were sitting by the roadside. They knew that Jesus was headed for his destiny. So this would probably be the last chance for them to get healed. They got to a place where they could meet him. They got to an area church where they could be blessed. And I think that's important to notice their posture. Verse 30 informs us that they're sitting by the roadside. They took a seat and waited on Jesus. They knew that he was headed their way. Sitting down meant that they were gonna hold out. It implies, church, that they were going to sit tight. They didn't know when he would come, but they weren't leaving. They didn't know how long it would be but they weren't going anywhere. They sat down and waited by the roadside. Because if you want a change, you've got to stick around. If he hasn't shown up, you can't give in. If he hasn't come through, you can't give up. If he hasn't stopped by, you can't walk away. If you want a change, then you've got to hang around. I know that you're tired, but God said just hold on. I know it's rough, but don't 
give up. I know it's getting hard, but don't give in because the text lets us know that he's headed your way. I don't know who this is for, but the devil wants you to throw in the towel. He wants you to bail out right now. He wants you to walk away because he understands the Lord is headed your way. And how many folk know that you're going to hold out? How many folk know that you're going to sit tight? Yeah, how many people know you're going to hold on because they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. The Bible says they shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary and they shall walk and not faint. I don't know about you, but I've struggled too long to give up now. Yeah, I've suffered too much for me to just walk away. I've waited too long to throw in the towel and I don't want the Lord to pass me by. And how many folk can say I've been through too much to give up now. I've cried too many tears to just walk away. I've struggled too long to throw in the towel and I don't want the Lord to pass me by. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm shouting like the blind men. That's why I'm yelling just like them. I've been down for a while and I need a change. It's been hard for some time and I need a blessing. I need a difference in my life and I don't want the Lord to Pass me by. Oh my God. See, if you ain't going through nothing, this ain't for you. Oh, uh, if you ain't been struggling, you can't relate to this. This is for people who've been down for a while and they don't need the Lord to, to pass them by. Would you look at somebody and tell them if he passed me? by I might not make it if he pass me by I might cave in I need a change in my life and I don't want the Lord to, to pass me by or oh, high five somebody and tell him if he doesn't stop I might break down if he doesn't stop I might walk away I need a difference in my life so I don't want the Lord to, to pass me by I don't know who I'm talking to on this morning but how many people know when you've been struggling for a while when you've been down for a while you ain't got time to be cute you got to shout out like the blind men Lord don't pass the blind men shouted don't miss this Lord have mercy on us did y'all hear that they, they cried out, Lord, we want our sight. Okay. They are blind. Come on, come on. But they still call him Lord. Oh, come on, come on. oh my God. <laughs> because you've got to be loyal. Yeah in spite of your condition <laughs> oh my god how many people know that in spite of your problem he's still god yeah in spite of your issue he's still lord oh let me help you right quick that 
that's how you get him to stop in his track when you can still call him Lord despite your condition y'all miss y'all shout God said I'm looking for some folk who in spite of the sickness can still give me praise despite being unemployed you can still give me worship despite what you're going through you can still open up your mouth despite your condition you can still call him Lord my God how many people know he's still Lord oh touch somebody and tell them he's still my God I ain't got what I want but he's still God things ain't going my way but he's still my Lord That's how you get the Lord to stop. Yes. Come on. Come on. When you can still call him Lord, despite what you're going through. Yes. Uh, so preacher, preacher, help us out. Uh, how, how can I witness uh, a difference in my life? Here are three things to help you experience a difference in, in your life. Number one, you've got to trust him even though you can't see him. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Oh, my God. Two blind men Hallelujah. cried out to Jesus. They wanted him to have mercy on them. The crowd rebuked them and told them to hush. So they shouted even louder unto the Lord. Jesus came to a halt yes, and called on the brothers. He asked, what do you want me to do for you? They said, Lord, we want our sight. They told Jesus that they wanted to see. Watch this. They believe Jesus can open their eyes. They have faith that he can give them vision. Don't miss that because the brothers are blind, but they're relying on the Lord. They don't have sight, but they believe he can heal them. They can't make out nothing. But they're sure he can bless them, which means you've got to trust him even though you can't see him. Uh, he may seem absent, but you've got to believe. He may seem missing, but you've got to have faith. He may seem AWOL, but don't lose hope. You've got to trust him even though you can't see him and how many folk know you still have faith yeah how many people know you still believe it doesn't seem like he heard you but you still believe it seems like he's missing but you still have faith it seems like he's absent but you haven't lost hope you're still leaning and depending on God my God I like that church because sometimes it feels like the Lord ain't there do I have a witness sometimes it seems like he's not around Sometimes it feels like he's not on the job, but you can't allow that to break you down. Oh my God, how many folk can say, 
I can't see him yet, but I still believe. I can't see him yet. But I still have faith Still in a jam But I believe God Still got my struggle But I trust the Lord Still got my issue But I still have faith Because we walk by faith And not by sight My God Haven't seen a change But I'm trusting the Lord Haven't seen a difference But I still believe Still unemployed But I still believe Still got the sickness But I trust God Still got my problem But I won't break down Because I'm walking by faith faith and not by sight. Is there anybody in here that can say, preacher, it doesn't seem like he's there, but I still believe. Oh my God. Jesus stopped and called on the brothers. He said, what do y'all want me to do for y'all? Oh, my God. Don't miss it. Because he wouldn't stop just to be stopping. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're going to miss your shout right here. He wouldn't have called them just to be calling. He wouldn't ask what he asked just to be asking. Come on, Pastor. He asked them what he did because he was about to do something. Oh, you missed your shout. Would you look at somebody and tell them, I don't know when, but he's about to do something. I don't know how, but he's about to bless you. I don't know where, but you need to get ready. God wanted me to tell you he's about to do something. I thought I was going to have more shouters. Oh, you've been telling for a while God wanted me to tell somebody he's headed your way and he's about to do something oh my god would you high five somebody and tell him I need him to do something I don't care what he does just as long as he does something to heal my body to turn things around to work out my marriage to get me out of debt I need him to do something anybody need God to do something oh, need some money need some healing need deliverance need him to do something Jesus said I ain't stopping just to be stopping if I stop I'm about to do something. So what do y'all want me to do for you? You ought to shout out right now what you need the Lord to do for you. Jesus, I need healing. Jesus, I need a job. Jesus, I need peace. I need you to do something. I need him to do something. Maybe you ain't like me. Maybe everything ain't working out for you. But everything ain't working out for me. I need him to do something. And I need him to do something right about now. Because I'm about to lose my mind. God, have mercy on me. Need him to do something. 
Oh, my God. I'm tired of being in this condition. We, we need you to do something, Jesus. Because we're tired of struggling. Oh, my God. He said, you got to trust me even though you can't see me. Oh, my God. Here's the next thing. If you want a difference, guess what? If you want to change, you've got to do something different. Don't, don't miss this point right here. You got to do something different. The blind man called out to Jesus as he passed by. They, they wanted him to show them some mercy. Uh, we're told Jesus stopped and called them to him. He said, what do you want me to do for you? They said, Lord, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes. See, to understand this point, I, I need to unpack it. Come on, come to on. understand where I'm headed, I need you to get something. See, blind folks in the text were usually beggars. They would set up in a popular area and beg folk for money. That's how blind people made ends meet. That's how they were able to pay the bills. The brothers in the text got my attention. Their response to Jesus caught my eye. When he asked them what they wanted, they didn't say money. When he asked them what they desired, they did not say cash. Go ahead. Oh. They didn't want what average blind folk wanted. Oh, I'm going to let you catch up with me. They didn't desire what the regular folk did. They told Jesus they wanted their sight. And were told that Jesus opened their eyes. Instead of cash, they wanted vision. Oh, you're missing it. Instead of change, they wanted sight. They just wanted Jesus to open their eyes. And that's what made the brothers stand out. See, that's why you can't be like everybody else. You shouldn't be like the average person. Yeah, instead of money, Ask him for mercy. See, you missing it. Instead of a job, ask him for joy. Instead of a car, ask him for peace. Do something different from the rest of the crowd. See, you know why y'all ain't shouting this morning? Because you asking for blessings all the time. But Jesus said, don't be like the rest of the folk. Instead of wanting a blessing, ask for the blesser. Y'all missing y'all shout. Do you want Jesus to stop by? Can I tell you what to do? Instead of asking for a car, ask 
ask him for Christ. Oh my God. Instead of asking for gifts, ask him for the giver. Because if you ask for the blesser, he'll give you a blessing. Jesus said, I'm tired of folk always asking me for a blessing. They want a house. They want a car. They want money. They want a job. But the brothers just wanted me. My God, do I have anybody in here that can say, Jesus, I don't want a blessing. I just want you. And when you tell him that, he'll stop by and touch your eyes. That's how you get his attention. God says, stop asking me for blessings and just ask me for me <laughs> because if you ask me for me <laughs> you will get blessed <laughs> because I'm tired of folk <laughs> always coming to me <laughs> with their hand out <laughs> asking me for something <laughs> would you just bow down and worship me <laughs> would you just give me some praise <laughs> and when you start to worship <laughs> I'll give you a blessing <laughs> when you you start to praise I'll give you your breakthrough cause when praises go up bless it Oh my God, you've been asking for the wrong thing. God said you asked for the right thing. I'll do a good thing in your life. Do I have any company in here? How many people know when you bow down and worship, he'll give you peace. He'll give you joy. He'll put a smile back on your... All right, I, I, I got to move. Don't, don't miss the text. Don't miss the text. Um, the brothers ask for their sight. They just wanted the Lord to give them some vision. Because <laughs> if he gives you vision, you'll get the money. If he just give you bitch, come on. Uh huh. He'll get you the house. Uh, watch this. I told you earlier that the average blind person beg for money. Come on. They waited for folk to come by and give them some change. However, the brothers in this story wanted vision from Jesus. They wanted sight from the Lord. Uh, see, the average blind person's living was determined by people. Because they set up on the corner. Yeah, and they had their little cup out. So that the amount of money they receive was determined by people dropping money in their cup. Yeah, they were the ones who gave them cash. But the brothers wanted vision from the Lord, which means they relied on him instead of people. And how many people know that folk will let you down? Oh my God. How many people know that people will disappoint you? Uh, uh, don't rely on people to turn things around. Put all your trust and faith in your God. Oh, my God. Would you look at somebody and tell them, uh, uh, you might 
turn your back, but he'll never leave me. Oh, you might let me down, but God won't forsake me. You might disappoint me, but God is faithful. I'm putting all my faith and trust in the Lord. That's how you get God to stop by your situation. When you stop depending on mama and daddy and say, God, if it's going to be a way made, you've got to make the way. I'm not depending on my friends. Ain't depending on my family. I ain't depending on the pastor. It's you that I need and I'm putting all my faith and trust in God. That's how you get me to stop by. When, when I know that it's me that you're truly depending on. Oh, my God. He said, that's when I stop by, when you do something different. When, when you stop asking me for a blessing and just get in my presence. Oh, my God. But here's the last thing. How you get a change in your life. Uh, you want to change in your life? You've got to leave some folks behind. <laughs> Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes. They received their sight immediately and followed him. That's important because blind folks had people who acted as their guides. Yeah, they would take them to a popular area and drop them off. They would leave them there and come back to get them. Watch this. They would then take a cut of the money they receive. Don't miss that. Because since the people are blind, their guides could get over. Since they couldn't see, they could take what they wanted. The two men in the text decided to follow Jesus. After they received their sight, they tagged alone. The folks who dropped them off will eventually come back. At some point, they'll return to get them. <laughs> they'll come back to pick them up. But the brothers won't be around. Because you got to leave some folks behind. I don't know who this is for. But when they come back to get you, you ought to be gone. Oh, when they return, you shouldn't be around. When they arrive, you should be down the road because you've got to leave some folk behind. So get your hat and your coat and hit the road. Get your shoes and your bling and get out the house. Oh, get your purse and your socks and ride off because you've got to leave some folk behind. I know you can't say nothing because you came to church with them. But baby, when you get a chance, you get out that door and you hit the road. Oh, 
oh my God, when they call your cell phone, send it to voicemail. When they send a text, don't you dare respond. Get everything you got and don't look back because you've got to leave some folk behind. Do I have a witness in this house? How many people know that you had to leave some folk behind because they were messing up your life? You got to pack all your pants. I had to ask the brothers, why didn't y'all stay? I had to ask them, why didn't y'all leave? They said, preacher, even though we had money, we had no vision. Yes. They said, even though we had cash, we still couldn't see. They said, even though we had change, we didn't see a change. Watch this. They said, preacher, our guides were keeping us blind. I don't want to start nothing. <laughs> they may be paying your bills, but you still can't see. <laughs> they may be buying your clothes, but you still got your problem. <laughs> they may be paying your rent, but things still haven't changed, <laughs> which means that your God is keeping you blind. <laughs> oh, look at somebody and tell them, uh, if you're still depressed, you need to leave if you're still broke you need to go if you still got your problem don't stick around because the text lets us know that you are still blind oh you can't shout on that oh but i may have a witness in here that can testify that can say preacher they were paying my bills but things weren't changing yeah they were buying me clothes but I still was depressed do I have anybody in here that can say I had to leave the cash and walk with my Christ I had to leave the car and get with the Lord I'll let y'all go but that's what I did Back in the day, I said, that's what I did a long time ago. I left some friends and followed the Lord. I left the club and followed Christ. I left the streets and followed the Savior. I was blind, but he opened my eyes. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Would you high five somebody and tell them I was a mess, but he cleaned me up. Tell them I was a trip, but not anymore. I was in the dark, but now I'm in the light. Because one day the Lord opened my eyes. If you know you've been changed, give God some praise. If he's made a difference, you ought to thank him. If he's blessed your life, throw back your head. You should take a minute to give God the 
the praise. Is there anybody here? Know the Lord turn you around. Is there anybody here? Know that you're not the same. Look at somebody tell them, I'm not where I ought to be. But thank God I'm not where I used to be. I thank God for blessing my life. Is there anybody here that can give God some praise? If he bless your life, clap your hands. I said if he change your life, give him some praise. If he turn you around, throw back your head. Bless his name like never before. Somebody say it. Say it. Say yeah. Jesus, have mercy on me. Don't pass me by. I need you in my life. I need you on Sunday. Need you on Monday. Don't pass me by. I need you to pick me up. Turn me around. Jesus, son of David. Don't pass me by. I'm a holler till he hears me. I'm a shout till he hears me. I'm a scream till he hears me. You wanna shout right now? Shout till he hears you. Scream till he hears you. Holler till he hears you. Jesus, son of David. Don't pass. While you're calling on others, Jesus, don't pass me by. I've been sitting in this spot on purpose. Don't pass me by, Lord. I knew you were headed this way. That's what the blind men said. They said, we ain't going nowhere. We, we know he's coming this way because he's going to the cross. Sometimes you got to get in position. Sometimes you got to get in position. Watch this. Because you know he's about to do something in your life. You missed it. You want to know the sad reality? The reason why some of us don't get in position because we don't think he's about to do something for us. Jesus is real. I'm going to be just like them blind men. I know he's headed for Jerusalem. And I know he's got to come out of Jericho at some point in time. Don't miss it. See, the blind men couldn't go into the city. They had to stay on the outside. Because they had a problem. You know, when you got a problem, folk will reject you. <laughs> They don't want you to be in their crowd. Right, right, right. So the blind man said, that's all right. We'll sit right here. I can just imagine an hour or two roll by. Probably looked at their watch. He said, we ain't leaving. Because we've been in this condition for too long. Another hour passed by. They ain't heard nothing. 
See, the enemy wants you to get up and walk away. But you got to tell the enemy, I ain't going nowhere. If I got to, I'll stay here all day. See, when you need a change, guess what? You'll put up with some stuff. I'm talking about for the Lord. You ain't going to put up with anything, but for the Lord. Jesus, even though the sun is baking me right now, I could go somewhere under some shade, but I can't take that chance. Maybe I'll ask my brother to stay here while I go and take some rest over here and ask him to holler at me when he hears that, but, but I'm not taking that chance. I'm going to sit right here, even though the sun is out, Even though I'm tired, and even though hours have passed by, I'm going to hang around until the Lord comes my way. I'm talking to somebody here today, because guess what? You, you're like these two blind men. You, you've been waiting on the Lord, and he hasn't come your way yet. Oh, my God. Would you raise your hand if I'm talking to you? You've been, you've been waiting on the Lord. And he hasn't come by. I need the honest folk on today. You, you've been waiting for a change and you've been praying to God. You, you, you've, been, you've been pleading with the Lord. Lord, I need a change in my life. And he has not come your way. Oh, my God. Can I pray for you on today? Could you come down? to the altar you've been waiting on him and he has not come by yet you're still in your predicament you're still in your jam if you're here would you come to this altar right now Father God, we come to you right now crying out to you to have mercy on us. We come, God, because we don't want you to pass us by. And that's why we've come to worship on this morning because we want to get in position we feel God that you're headed our way and we don't want to be out of place we don't want to be out of position that's why we come in your presence seeking your face not your hand because you've already done enough to bless us. 
We don't come asking for a house or a car or for money or for promotion. We don't come asking for a job. We don't come asking for material things. We come asking you, God, for mercy. We've been in our condition for a while. And God, we're looking for a change. We've been struggling, God, for a while. And we need a shift in our life. We need you to make a difference for us. Because the reality is we've tried other things. We've tried other people. But we're still in the same spot. And that's why we come to you asking you God to have mercy upon us. Grant us vision from on high. Open our eyes. So that we can see what you see. We need you, God, to help us to see ourselves out of this situation. See ourselves beyond this condition that we're in. To walk by faith and not by sight. And God, we want you to know on today that if you don't come when we want you to come, we won't leave our spot. If you don't come through by tomorrow, God, we'll still call you Lord. If you don't turn things around by the end of the week, we're going to still call you God. Because our relationship with you is not based on our condition. It's simply based on who you are. We recognize you as God. All by yourself. We recognize that there is none like you. And so even though we might not see a change on, change on tomorrow, God, we'll still give your name the praise. We will still worship you. We will still give you the glory. We will still lift your name on high. For you are still God. And we love you. We adore you. We exalt you. We praise you. Because you are great. And you're greatly to be praised. God, I pray that you will give each and every person at this altar peace of mind. I pray, God, that they will let go of what's been keeping them bound. What's been making them depressed and making them discouraged. And interfering with their faith. We come against demonic thoughts right now. We come against negativity right now. We come against the spirit of pessimism right now. Let them know that you're, you're still on their side encourage them somehow to let them know that you are headed their way if they're willing to be patient with you if they're willing to hold out they'll get what you have for their lives then God I pray for the people who are down here who need to walk away from some people People who have been keeping them blind. People who have been holding them up. 
give them the strength to walk away. Give them the courage to leave them behind. We pray, God, that you'll grant them the faith they need to overcome what they're going through. We pray that you will touch them where they need to be touched in order for them to come out with the victory. So God, we bless your name. And we give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you the honor. Just don't have mercy on me, God. Have mercy on my neighbor. Just like the blind men, they weren't short-sighted. They said, have mercy on us. So God, I don't just pray for me. I pray for the person next to me. That you would change their condition. I pray for the person behind me that you will fix their problem. Pray for the person in front of me that you will work things out. Restore their joy. Reconcile their marriage. Bless their career. Help them to overcome that addiction. Heal their body. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Come on, give somebody a hug. And tell them he's headed your way. Come on, tell them with confidence he's headed your way. Tell them he's about to do something for you. So you need to get ready. He's about to do something for you. Do not, Do not pass me by And I'm crying Savior Savior Hear my humble I'm crying, Savior. And I'm, I'm crying, crying Savior. Savior, why don't you hear my humble cry? While on others, while on others, thou art calling. Come on, as we all stand to our feet, there may be somebody here on today. We don't want the Lord to pass you by. And guess what? You're in the right position. You're in the house of the Lord. 